uh, bro, this movie was so annoying. So to prepare for this film, I watched Matrix Reloaded and Revolutions, and I fell asleep twice. So I came into this like really hoping for it to be worth it. Was it? No. It's a Matrix sequel that has the existential crisis of being a Matrix sequel. I think it's flawed from the start because the creators weren't really like inspired to do so, like to make another one. I think they were forced to make it because like in the film, it actually says that the beloved parent company Warner Brothers has decided to make a sequel to the trilogy. What? They inform me they're going to do it with or without us. It's not horrible and it actually could have been good if it wasn't so self-aware. When the film actually starts to look forward, I enjoyed it. Like the new innovations with the new machines and the new character bugs. But when it looked backwards, I didn't like it. They got new actors to play Morpheus and Agent Smith and like they're not as good. The new actor that plays Agent Smith is nowhere as good as Hugo Weaving. But its plot is kind of interesting. Looking at The Matrix as a video game is kind of cool because I thought I was about to like comment on like Facebook literally trying to make The Matrix today, like with Meta and all that, like the company Meta, but it didn't do that. So it just felt almost pointless to be made today. Like the director did say in interviews that The Matrix is more relevant than ever, but none of that's really applied in any way in this new film. I did think the analyst's monologue about human nature and fiction was interesting and like kind of true if you think about it. Even though that exposition dump came out of nowhere, I also liked the connection between Neo and Trinity. Keanu Reeves has a ton of chemistry. But while watching the breathtaking Keanu Reeves, I realized that self-aware movies are kind of becoming a genre of its own with other films that got ruined by breaking the fourth wall too much, like Space Jam 2 and Jurassic World. Like in Space Jam, even though the core story of LeBron coming to terms with the sun, even though like that core story is better than the original, I can't take it seriously because of the constant reminder of all of Warner Brothers' properties like just jammed into this film. Instead of the movie exploring the complexities of LeBron and his son's relationship, it glosses over all of that to spend more time focusing on Warner Brothers' serververse and shoving LeBron into as many movies as possible. It's so meta that like, there's literally a pitch for this movie in the movie. It's impossible to take it seriously. Like, The Matrix is literally teased in Space Jam. The film becomes as soulless as a commercial, almost like a robot made it. Oh, that's ironic. Also, breaking the fourth wall is also used to like ignore plot conveniences. Like when Agent Smith just randomly pops up at the end and saves the day, and he just says his old monologue from the original, which is also not a new thing. It reminds me of Jurassic World. In that movie, Jake Johnson's character then is continuously pointing out to the characters and us, the audience, all the stupid decisions the movie and the characters are making. His character is knowingly winking at the audience of how stupid this all is. The movie is trying to use its self-awareness to make the bad writing seem intentional, even though at the end of the day, it's just cliches and bad writing. Even though Matrix Resurrections pulls stuff out of its ass, the action isn't as good or as innovative, and it retreads similar story beats of the original. I think the message of the film is to believe the power of love. Maybe the movie's meta commentary is trying to say that we don't want fiction with depths and sophistication. Instead, we just want to feel something in our fiction. For example, a film like Blade Runner 2049 has all the complex themes and unique ideas it has a character arc that I've never seen before. It's a little bit unsatisfying, but it subverts your expectations in like a really clever way. And like throughout the film, 
that movie flops at the box office and like implies that no one wants to watch it but a movie like avengers endgame with minor plot holes you know time travel does do that but has fulfilling fan service and satisfying payoffs become the biggest film of all time then again they make fun of people for analyzing the film so why try why should i analyze it it doesn't deserve it it made fun of me i hate it i'm done no more videos okay i might post some videos anyways thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe and comment down below if you enjoyed the film the film has like very mixed reception so i really want to hear what you guys think and yeah thanks